Check this out. It's a big machine, huh? Are you ready for us to release the Creighton? Here it is, the Arma Creighton, considered by many as the ultimate basher. This is the eight scale one, and this is the EXB version, extra bash. Uh, that means you, you put in your own motor electronics, but it is strengthened all around. And I've had maybe about 20 batteries, battery packs in it on all on 6S, or well, maybe one 4S. And I have enough experience to share with you uh, the goodies about this vehicle. So what is it? It is a basher vehicle. It's a, it's a truck, uh, a truggy, uh, but not a truggy for racing. It's a tra truggy for playing, bashing, sending. What is bashing anyway? What's the true definition of bashing? It just means having fun any which way you can, no holds barred. And this is the perfect vehicle for it. By Arma. Uh, so I'll tell you about the vehicle. We have, I, ha I now have a lot of running video with it and it is an insane beast. Um, it's really at its best when you are sending it on jumps. Uh, you send it like this, far, distance jumps, height jumps, maximum number of loops. It does really well. I'm not as crazy as my friends, but the ones who do best on these jump, jump offs, jump, up, jump your, out jump your friends are the ones with Cratons uh, because they could, they could do crazy stuff in midair but then when they land any which way, they're gonna survive more often than not. So the body, nothing fancy, just a light little thing. Uh, not very protected, but you can see it's held up because it's really hard to hit the body. The wing takes the beating and the tires take the big hits. The bumpers are quite protective. Uh, and here it is. Huh? It's a lot to look at, huh? Don't just bash, blast, meaning send send this thing into midair so nothing the first thing i'll report is nothing has gone wrong with the vehicle it's an extremely durable vehicle it you know i don't know how fast it is 60 miles an hour 65 miles an hour it's, it's a machine that you could just if you don't know where to land you're just going to send it as long as you're not going to hit anything you could just you could just gas it see where it goes so to speak and so that's what it's good at look at all this travel uh, arma has made their mark by uh, really making a durable and modular vehicle. So it's easy to, to, to service it, easy to uh, pull the motor out, pull the front differential out, uh, and whatnot. So let's see what it has. Um, so I put my own motor on, motor in, Hobby Wing, uh, 6S 42, 4274. Uh, you can see from the footage, it is a monster motor, even though it's not that big. My, uh, it has a big ESC, a 6S, 6S six, Hobby Wing ESC, and I put a, just a normal 8 scale um, servo, uh, quite enough for it. And a lot of, I use a lot of these uh, big batteries that are all by Gens Ace. Really happy with, uh, with those batteries. Uh, and then it just go after go. So one of the mods I had to do with it, uh, if I had a problem with it, is that when you gas it, when you hit the throttle, it just wheelies all the time. And wheelie, uh, it's hard to control. Um, basically, you could, if you gun it like that, it'll flip over. And if you're good, it'll, flip, it'll land back on its feet. But if not, it'll land on its head or on its roof. So it's, that's not, it's not very fun because you got to go flip it over yourself and chase it. So. The, that's one issue with a vehicle. It just wheelies a little too much for my taste because you wanna, you're trying to race your friends on a Mojave or, or a Max and you can't get them because you keep flipping over. <laughs> so I put a weight up here. Maybe I'll put some more. Uh, I took them off right now. But I changed the diff fluid to about a 300 
and that controls, it distributes the power a little better. Uh, I think light diff fluid puts the power to where the, the tires are hitting the ground. And, and this, is a, this is a little too short. That's why it's going like this a lot. I also put a wheelie bar. The wheelie bar is here. It's kind of useless. I wish it was adjustable because you have to be quite far to hit it and it's not very stable uh, at this point. It's just ready to flip. So it'll cool if it met the ground here and it had a little bit of play, uh, like the Traxxas Max, or if it had an adjustable version. Uh, so a lot of fun with it. I mean, it's a, it's a handful. Um, it, you know, it, to, do, to do laps well, to do jumps and, and land them, you know, it, it takes a bit of skill. But whatever, even if you don't have skill, the, the vehicle can take it. Uh, so, you know, I just love the heck out of this vehicle. And I think it's a vehicle, I'm not ready to really upgrade it yet, but it's the one that I'm gonna get the most versatility out of, whether I'm just doing laps, uh, hitting dirt mounts, or, or doing real big time jumps. All right, thanks a ton.